The sun was out, the stands were full, and the bulls were bucking last night at the 8th annual Brad Phipps Memorial Bull Ride. Some of the top 26 professional bull riders of Canada were holding on for dear life, trying to stay on to 2,500-pound bulls for 8 seconds. Jesse Torkelson was busy behind the chutes after capturing the 2011 Brad Phipps Memorial Bull Riding Buckle. This is an awesome event. Uh, we love coming out here every year and uh, I haven't been too successful here in the past so it's a little bit of a change for me so it's nice. The Warburg Alberta native had some help picking his bull Unabomber in the finals and it proved to pay off. I have my travel partner Scott Schiffner, he's the only Canadian to ever ride that bull before tonight so it's kind of special. We, uh, we're the only two to get to stay on them, so it's good. The nine-year pro has had his ups and downs competing in Lashburn, but says scoring the highest is extra sweet. Yeah, anytime you have a memorial event, it means a little bit more, you know. Uh, and it, like this is an awesome event. There's tons of people come out every year, rain or shine. We've had a few wet years here, but uh, yeah, everybody shows up and has a good time. And it's, uh, it's winding down to the end of the season, and these points are valuable this time of year to. They're in a national title, so it's uh, a big boost. The Brad Phipps Memorial Bull Ride is not only a stop on the PBR sked, but a way to bring the Midwest together. The number of fans that we get and the people that come, and, and we draw from a fairly large area now too, and that just shows how important this event is to us and to our community and to the Phipps family as well. The organizing committee was hoping with added bleachers they would raise over $30,000 to go towards the town's new sports class. Aaron Streck, New Cap Sports. The CPCA Sega Pro Tour is winding down with only three more weeks of burning and turning left. After the Cold Lake show was recanceled last weekend, the drivers and outriders are back in action last night, kicking up dust in day one out in Turtleford. Grant Priest's heat eight time of 100.74 was the fastest of the night. He stole the barrel, the rail rather, off of barrel two and pulled away to a two-length victory over Gordon McCallum and Ross Knight. 007 Roger Moore crossed the line at 101.00, fast enough for second. And you don't see this too often. Vern Nolan and Jamie Labacane finished at 101.07. The Chief Ray Mitsuwing rounded out the top five. Day two of racing goes this evening at the bottom of the clock. The defending AFL champion Lloydminster Vandals began their title defense this afternoon, hosting the Edmonton Stallions in the quarterfinal. Earlier this season, the Vandals thumped the Stallions 27-9 down in Wainwright. Well, today the rain started to come down right in time for kickoff, but the showers didn't seem to affect the green and black as they led 10-zip after the first cue. And in, in the second half, they put up another 20 points to beat the Stallions 30 to nothing. I will have highlights and post-game reaction for you tomorrow night. Celebrating a decade is one thing, celebrating two is another. The Lloyd Minster Tennis Association is in the middle of their biggest weekend of the year. It's a 20th annual tennis tournament. This year, 32 people from Saskatchewan and Alberta descended upon the border city for the the three-day competition. They've played here before and they enjoy playing here. This, we have a lot of camaraderie uh, amongst the, the guys and uh, it's a lot of fun. We, we make this tournament uh, fun for everybody. There has been a lot of development in the events two decades. Most notable is the generational shift. The changes, there's been a lot of new young kids that we have we've mentored, taught in some of the classes and now they're adults and they're beating us. <laughs> Both Shoplin and Ikino hope to continue the tournament until their bodies won't allow it anymore. Before that time comes, they want the, week, the weekend to grow into a more recognizable event.